We have to learn to wait upon God. I think so many people may have it in their mind that when they begin living for Jesus Christ, everything should be okay. Like, there should be no issues or problems. Like, everything should flow all together very well. Is this always the case? I don't think so. So let's say you are trying to live for God and you can't pay your rent or your mortgage. You can't pay your bills like everything seems like it is going down the drain. Are you going to turn your back against God and do what is wrong in order to, I guess in your mind, make things right in your life? Are you the type of person when God is blessing you, when he is allowing good things in your life, is that the only time you can live for Jesus Christ? So when bad things begin to happen, when It seems like you can't take it. Do you begin going back to your old sins? So are you in like this circular roller coaster of sin or what should I say? Like good times come, you come to God, you repent of your sins, you try to do right, then when bad times come, you, you go back to your sin and like you go around and round and round every year, however so often, doing pretty much the same things over and over and over again. I was speaking to someone about this. And if you think about it, and I am not saying I am perfect and I do everything right, but if you are like that, isn't that spiritual immaturity? Isn't it? If we read the Bible, nowhere in the Bible it is going to tell you while you are living on this earth, while living for Jesus Christ, your life is going to be perfect with no problems. It is usual, I believe, for us to go through issues. What if you are being tested? So are you going to continue to fall back into sin every time when you get tested? Listen now. If bad times are in your life, pray about it. If it seems like God isn't giving you an immediate response, continue doing what is right no matter what happens. Why should I continue to turn my back against God when times are bad? and come back to him when times are good. Let me be stable, right? Like, isn't that instability continuing in life, going back and forth, back and forth? 
Listen now. Learn to persevere. I believe that word means, in my own words, while going through trouble, be patient. Will God answer all of your prayers very quickly? I don't think so. There were times with me where I prayed about something, man, so many times, so many days, I think, probably more than a month of praying or so, praying about something, which I believe it was many. And from my understanding, from what I noticed or saw, I believe God prayed, not prayed, I believe God answered some of my prayers where I was able to see or take notice of or heard about or whatever. Learn to be patient on God. Let's say you are out of food and so many bad things are happening. What should you do? Pray. What is this? <laughs> Pray. And wait on God. Don't begin thinking back when I was in sin, I had it easier when I used to sell drugs, when I used to prostitute myself, when I used to steal, when I used to do illegal things. Don't begin entertaining those thoughts. Learn to persevere. Learn to be able to function properly while you are going through difficult times. Because look, you may be getting tested. I don't want to be the type of person to where times are easy, I can serve God. But when times are rough, I get unstable, I get bad attitudes. I become like this worse person. I don't want to be that way. I don't want to be like this mood shifting person to where I am friendly, then really mean, and like my mood is constantly shifting. I don't want to be that way. Life it's not always going to be perfect. I think some people may look at celebrities or rich people and want to be like them. And imagine, I guess, like this person may have a wonderful life. This person has so much money. So I guess I equate being rich with having a wonderful life, if that be the case, if that be the case, aren't there some rich people killing themselves? So if there are some rich people killing themselves, how can it be true that when you are rich, everything is good in your life? I don't think so. Let's mature more spiritually in our lives, right? Let's not continue to get trapped by the same thing over and over and over again. Years ago, or some years ago, there were some things I would get trapped by over and over and over again, like 
it seemed like I couldn't overcome certain things. But I believe after a while, or maybe some years, I guess, I worked at it, I worked at it, I worked at it, and I worked at it. Now, I am not so much ensnared by many or all of those things, I believe. I don't believe I get trapped like how I used to by certain things. So if you know there is something that is your weakness, learn what you can do to overcome it. Just don't give into it like how I used to and say God doesn't care. You know, he see me struggling, so why don't God do something about it? Look now, you do something about it. Ask Jesus Christ for help, right? Don't accept or give in to whatever you are weak in. Because if I can overcome stuff, which I am not saying I am perfect, I am not saying I don't trip up, because I do. Yes, I may not do it as much as other people, but hey, one time is one time. Two times are two times, whether it is small or large. Let's become better. Let's not be in that roller coaster of confusion or going through the same stuff over and over and over again. Let's graduate from what is, ouch, what is tripping us up. Hmm. Let me stop here. God bless you.